And uh, here we are in the sweet uh, Chevy pickup, Chevy Silverado. This is the uh, the Texas edition. It's mighty nice. And of course, that guy right there is Kevin Fowler. And it's cruising around looking for barbecue. Today. That's one of the things we uh, that's one of the things we take for granted living in Texas. You know, great Mexican food, great barbecue. Yep. But, you know, like lately we spend a lot of time up the northeast, and the northwest, both. And, yeah. Man, you forget that. Hey man, you just take it for granted. You think everybody has a dance hall. You think that there's barbecue in every town. Right. You think that there's great Mexican food in every town. You know, yeah, you know, you're, you're doing good just to get a burger. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing about, about Texas is that we want our own. We want our own brand of music, Texas music. We want our own brand of Texas edition truck, you know. Our Absolutely. own brand of beer. We want everything, you know. <laughs> you, know you look at the Bud Light bottle. Only in Texas does the Bud Light bottle have a Texas on it. That's true. Texans want everything to be about, about Texas. You mean they don't they don't do that in like uh, Wyoming? No, I've never seen a ship of Wyoming. Uh, <laughs> on a, on a bar bar. So it's barbecue time. We're headed for Manchac, Texas, which is south of Austin, just a little bit down here to the railroad barbecue and a lovely Chevy truck. <laughs> This is how you do your barbecue Texas style. You gotta have the proper portion of pickle to onion to meat to sauce ratio. If you get it wrong, it's just Yankee food. <laughs> one layer of pickles, one layer of uh, onion there. It's a squirt sauce. Not too much, because you want the flavor from the meat. That's what you do. You know, that's, that's, that's the cool thing to me about the whole Texas scene is that uh, anything goes, you know. I mean, there isn't a sound, there isn't this sound, there isn't a, you know, it goes from everywhere from, you know, I, I feel like me and Aaron Watson, we're kind of doing the more of the traditional country thing, yep. with a little twang kind of beefed up. Mm -hmm. And then you got guys doing the more of the rock thing and then the singer songwriter thing. And it's wild, well, you go to Texas Music Festival and it's got every, all of the above, you know. And I think that's the cool thing about it, you know. Usually when you have a, a regional, same as a sound that everybody kind of cookie cutters and kind of kind of does and it, it's just uh, it's cool that it is so varied you know, anything goes a lot of the consistency seems to be in uh, in kind of the, the, the Texas attitude but then also a, uh, it's, it's got to be genuine I think the, the listeners of this kind of stuff pick up pretty quickly on something that's that's you know overly slick or, or, or not not really genuine yeah, you know, you can't pull anything over anybody's wool over anybody's eyes down here, you know. No. Nope. You can't be marketed to, you can't, uh, you know, they, they know what they like and uh, and they just like good music, you know, and that's, you know, that's what we're saying, you know, anything goes as long as it's good. Absolutely. Kevin Fowler, Manchac, Texas, Railroad Barbecue.